Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dot to Dot. Well, on the last episode of The Curse of Oak Island, they dug down, it looks like about maybe five or six feet, and they were looking for an old well, they call it a well, that was discovered by Fred Noland in the 1980s, along with his son, Tom. And when they dug down, they found some rocks that perhaps were in somewhat of a man-made formation uh, that was similar to the well that they found on Lot 26. So the question begs, is there a tunnel system under Oak Island? And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at some geology. We're going to look at the evidence in the artifact archive that I've been uh, working on. So let's go to the next picture. And here is the rocks that are in this uh, Lot 11 well. And they seem to be stacked in somewhat of a manner. But let's look at some of these rocks and the geology. And we can see in this uh, picture, we have some granite rock. And look at down here in the lower right-hand corner, we have some very flat rocks. And this is what would either be called maybe shale or slate. Now, slate is a harder form, a metamorphic uh, form of shale. And also we have a lot of pebbles and notice also we have uh, this reddish clay too, which is indicative of a uh, till, which is the Lawrenceville till that is uh, prevalent on the east side of Oak Island. So here's a picture of some good picture of some rocks from that uh, dig. These are black slate. You can see very uh, clearly that they're uh, flat in nature and the way slate breaks it always breaks in a very even or straight form and you can see that that is what is being shown here so there's a lot of slate in this uh, this uh, hole that they've dug so if we go to the history of the county of Ludenburg this is 1870 written in eight published in 1870 we have this gentleman named Henry S. Poole, who in 1861 was visiting the localities on behalf of the government, and he wrote in his report, now this is the first thing he wrote, I crossed to Oak Island and observed slate all the way along the main shore, but I could not see any rock, and then there's a, a transcription problem here, on the island but I could not see any rock maybe like that on the interior of the island. We don't know. But the thing I want to uh, point out is this man goes over, and the first thing he says in his report that he observes all this slate all along the main shore. So my question is, where did that slate come from? So this is the uh, picture of the well on uh, lot 26, and we'll look at that uh, also on the uh, map of Oak Island when I go there. But this is, this is all constructed of slate. Now, slate is very water resistant, so it would be a perfect building material for slate. Slate is a very, very common, well, not so common, but a very durable and sought after building material because uh, especially for roofing, uh, because it lasts a long time and it's very water resistant. So this 900 year old, 900 year old uh, well, according to the show, uh, is made of slate. So here's a picture of the stone road. Now the stone road, this is excavated. Uh, down and if you can see there's a shovel here on the left hand side and you know shovels are usually what around five feet long so you, you can get a guesstimate of how deep the stone road is and this is probably perhaps about four feet in depth here and then they're excavating down the stone road perhaps maybe another foot so what I'm getting at is the distance between 
uh, the distance is similar to the stone road and the well that they were digging up on lot 11 on the last episode of Curse of Oak Island. So in archaeology, the deeper you go or the more back in time you go, and if they're at the same level, then the time periods are pretty much uh, going to be the same. So the stone road and the, the well they were digging up may be pretty close to the same time period. So let's go to Google Earth. And on Google Earth, we, I've uh, set up this uh, archive of artifacts. And I'll go over that really quick for a minute. Here we have on lot 21 on the west side of the island, they found these iron uh, swages. Now these swages are used for sharpening rock drills. And then on lot four, they found what was what they described as an ads. I think it doesn't have a, as much of a curve, but it's, uh, they say it was used for shaping wood, perhaps wood beams, or it could have been used for digging. This one, to me, looks more like a digging tool. Then on lot five, we have also another area of shaped rocks. Proper, uh, most uh, likely it may be man-made, but it, it is a layer of rocks that they really haven't gone any further on the show with, but they also found a stone chisel. And on lot eight, they found another layer of rock. They found uh, ox shoes that were maybe used for hauling. They, they found also a hook and they found chain and they found that jewel and more chain, and also a bridle for an animal, most likely an ox. So, you know, it, it's, it's getting to the point of where they're finding a lot of uh, tools. Like here on near the money put, they found this long iron uh, tool that is possibly uh, a drill a uh, rock drill, which would have gone along with those swages on lock 21. And on Smith's Cove, they found this hand forged. Uh, uh, it's a basically a chisel, a fine point chisel that may have been used for wood or rock or stone. So when we go to lot 11, we also find another cargo hook used for hauling or raising cargo or heavy material. We find a, they found also the part of a digging tool, similar to this modern one here. <clears throat> they found a, a big wood spike that would have been used maybe for putting together uh, two pieces of large wood for tunneling support. And then, of course, the two, all the rocks, mostly which are of uh, slate and granite and pebbles. So, what is it? What is it about Oak Island that all this digging material, all these tools throughout the whole island are being dug up? And one of the things I want to show you is the geology of Oak Island. Now this comes from what is called the Behringer Survey, and it is uh, basically done by, put together by Les McPhee, who was a researcher for Oak Island, and Peter Beamish in 1965, who I believe may have been a geologist. But he did, they did this uh, survey here, and you can see this is a cross section of Oak Island. <clears throat> so this blue right here is what they call the till layer. 
So this would be mostly clay, dirt, and rocks. And below that, which is basically 160 feet near the money pit, so you have 160 feet. Below that, on the east side of the island, you have what's called anhydrite bedrock. Now, this anhydrite bedrock is not as hard as you think. It's about the same hardness as uh, limestone. So this is about the same hardness as limestone. And I actually have a thing uh, on a mole scale slate, which is what is underneath the west side of the island, is about 2.5 to 4. And it makes it less harder than quartz or granite, but it's equally as hard as limestone or marble. And a slate is very easily shaped into different shapes. And then anhydrite is basically a scale of 3.0 to 3.5. So it's about the same hardness as slate. So if they were going to be tunneling beneath the glacial till, which is below 160 feet, they, the uh, hardness from the east side of the island to the west side of the island would be the same. Now, if you look at the west side of the island, you notice that the slate comes to the surface right now here. So they, uh, they didn't really know what the depth, this is an assumed depth of where the slate bedrock starts on the west side of the island. And it can be anywhere from, say, 100 and something feet to the surface. So most of the western side of the island below uh, I would say 160 feet would be slate. So when you look at the island, we have one drumlin. This is the east side of the island, which is much different from the west side of the island. And it is mostly made of limestone, gypsum, uh, gypsum and shale, which is a form of slate. And then we have on the west side of the island, we have uh, basically undivided slate and millisilt stone and meta graywack, which is basically sandstone. So we have two different uh, geologies going on from the west side of the island to the east side of the island. Now, on the east side of the island, with the limestone, you're going to run into, you know, sinkholes, pockets, uh, voids, and cavities. Not so much on the west side of the island. So, is it possible? Is it possible that they uh, tunneled from the east side of the island to the west side of the island? Well, our theory with the vault theory is that there's tunnels throughout both sides of the island. And, you know, the, the distance is quite, uh, it's, it's pretty big. It's thousands of feet of tunnel. But is that possible through limestone and slate? They're both of, of equal hardness, so... Uh, if you can tunnel through limestone, you could tunnel through slate. And here's the uh, where the lot 11 is of where they're excavating. And on my earlier video, I had uh, talked about a second eye, which was right here. And the second eye was... Uh, I was uh, basically theorizing that it could have been another uh, shaft that would facilitate the tunnels because what they're doing in this is they are creating a tunnel system, one, the flood tunnel system, and also what's called the basin. And the basin would be 
a place where the water from the flood tunnel system would be evacuated through a valve. Now, there's several theories that we have on the flood tunnel system, on how extensive it would be. Uh, this is one of the uh, theories that we have that the flood tunnel system is basically comes to the vault and then it goes straight over to here. And I know on the Zena Hopper map, we have uh, areas that are called the the vault, uh, the valve, the hole under the trap door. <clears throat> but these may be virtual uh, spots. And I'll put those up and let's see. So we have the hole under the trap door and the valve. And there could be that, you know, that could be the, this would be the literal uh, flood tunnel system. If these were all really, the valve was right here, the hole was right here. And you can see it's a much more extensive flood tunnel system. A lot more tunneling would have to be done. But if we were to do it in this manner, then it would be uh, less. And the reason why the the flood uh, the valve, the hole under the trap door, the triangle was to basically uh, give us ge geometry in order to find this point, which is the center of this parallelogram that is basically formed when you do the geometry and also it conforms with the uh, Nolan's cross extended to the north anchor, which gives us basically the same thing. So you go from cone E to the center, which would be where the basin would be. And here's where you go underground which would be the center of this parallelogram. So you would go straight across here. So that's, you know, the, is, is it possible for these uh, people a long time ago? And, you know, according to, if, if you take the time frame of the well and perhaps the time frame of the, stone road and the swamp <clears throat> if you rem <clears throat> excuse me if you remember uh the dating of this in the swamp was basically at 1200 uh, AD so 1200 AD because they found a branch underneath one of these rocks and they dated it to 1200 AD so if this is if this is all tunneling material uh, in the paved area of the stone of the swamp, then the 1200 uh, AD would basically fit the the 900 year uh, stone well that they find on Lock 26, basically the same time period. So it's interesting that that we have a correlation between the well and the uh, paved area in the swamp. So very interesting, something to think about, but uh, that, that this, uh, this evidence that's mounting in uh, the fact that we have now two cargo hooks that are being found and all these digging tools, it begs the question, is there really a tunnel system underneath Oak Island? And is it re really as extensive as uh, we, Oak, uh, uh, Olivier and I uh, say it would be uh, in the vault theory? So that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.